Hey guys, this is Cody back here once again for part four of my favorite movie collection. I'm, act I'm actually filming this video right after uh, my, the last part, part three, which is why I'm wearing the same shirt. But I'm, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm probably gonna be uploading this video about a day or two after uh, part three. You know, so you, there's like at least a space in between them. But um, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some of my favorite teen comedies as well as my favorite, uh, some of my favorite family films as well. Um, also, in case you guys haven't noticed, I haven't really been talking about my favorite uh, Disney movies or any like classic Disney films like that, and that's because I'm actually waiting, and I'm going to be doing a, a series of videos where I talk about my favorite Disney movies. Sorry, my dog just came in. Wendy Woo. But yeah, um, in this video, I'm just going to be talking more about uh, you know my favorite uh, teen comedies and my favorite adult comedies as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. The first movie I'm going to talk about is a um, is a movie. Uh, it's a disaster film. As you guys remember, a while back I said that I was a bit I was fascinated with uh, tornadoes. Well, I'm also actually fascinated with volcanoes as well. Back when I was younger, I don't know what it was about volcanoes. Rather, it's the beauty of them, or you know, of how much disaster and destruction that they caused. There's just something about volcanoes that is always you know, it has always fascinated me, and um, this has been one of my favorite movies to watch. Um, but it's a uh, volcano starring Tommy Lee Jones, and it's basically a film about a. Uh, it's in. It's set in um, New York City, I think. No, Los An. Yeah, Los An. Los Angeles. I'm used to movies like this being set in New York City, but it's set in Los Angeles, and basically there's a volcano that's underneath the city comes up and. Basically, it starts destroying the city. It's a it's a pretty good film. Tom, like I said, Tommy Lee Jones is in it. Um, I remember loving it. You know, when I was younger, I'd watch this all the time. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite sort of national disaster films. So I really enjoyed this one, Volcano. Now the next movie, um, out of all the Harry Potter movies, I've always been a fan of the Harry Potter films, and I'll definitely have to say that the first Harry Potter film is definitely my favorite one, and it's also one of my favorite movies. Um, the reason why is because I always love the innocence of it, you know, this movie's always had a feel, a different feel than all the other Harry Potter films, and I just love the innocence of it, I love, you know, just a, Harry just started off as a normal old kid, he didn't think anything good of himself, and then he finds out that he's a wizard and that he's basically better than a lot of other kids, which I always enjoyed, I love stories, you know, they take a, you know, somebody that, that feels really down on himself, doesn't get any respect in life, and then they come back and you find out, and they find out that they're actually a lot more powerful than they thought that they were. I really enjoy stories like this, but I like all the Harry Potter films. You know, I'm a fan of the book series as well, but this one has always been one of my favorite movies. Really enjoyed the original. Alright, now I'm going to start getting into some more of my adult comedies and, and uh, teen comedies. And the first one I want to talk about is, without a doubt, my favorite teen comedy of all time. I love this film. It's the original American Pie movie. I think everybody who's seen the movie knows it's a great one. You know, um, I really, I'm not going to go into about what the movie's about because everybody knows about it. But, um, you know, of course, all the characters in it are great. Stifler, you know, just the oversexed guys, kind of a douche. Um, I really relate to, uh, now my cat wants out. I really relate to, uh, Jim's character, you know, the way that he was with girls, because I'm really not good at talking to girls. Well, I mean, I'm not good talk. Well, I mean, it's not that I'm not good talking to them. I'm just kind of bad asking them out. But um, you know, uh, this, you know, this movie is such a great funny movie. I always enjoy it. Um, and of course the the pie scene, everybody remembers that. Oh, and oh, and I'm also a fan of How I Met Your Mother, the new show that the the girl who plays Michelle. I can't remember her name right now. She's in. You know, that's always good. Now we're going to get into uh, another one of my favorite films. Now, actually, the first time I saw this movie, I saw it with my cousin. And I thought, and we laughed so hard to this movie. Come on. We laughed so hard to this movie. And um, one thing we love to do is when we're sitting around, you know, just hanging out with each other, we will randomly quote this movie all the time. We just will randomly just say something and just quote it, but it is Pineapple Express with Seth Rogen and James Franco. Um, probably one of the funniest movies I've ever seen. One of the funniest stoner comedies. I'm a fan of stoner comedy movies, but 
I remember when, we, when my me and my cousin Spencer watched this movie, we thought it was hilarious the first time we watched it. We could not stop laughing at it. And like I said, we always uh, quote this movie all the time, like, me and him will be sitting there and if his phone dies or something, he'll be like, oh man, my phone's dead. And I'll look and I'll be like, wait, what do you mean it's dead? If you've seen this movie, you know what I'm talking about, or will randomly be like, I thought Hurricane Season was over. We will quote James Franco's character Saul so much in this movie. Definitely one of my top, probably my top five favorite comedies. Really funny movie. Love it. Um, I'm also a big fan of James Franco. I like how that James Franco can go from a movie like this, being a stoner, you know, and being a comedy, and then he'll be like the Wizard of Oz in Oz Great and Powerful, or he'll play, you know, in an, in an action film or something like that. I really like James Franco and pretty much all the films they've done. And, uh, and I like uh, Seth Rogen as well. Big fan of both of these guys. Another good comedy uh, with Ryan Reynolds and Tara Reid, National Lampoon, The Van Wilder. Um, I think everybody's seen this movie, but I really enjoy it. I love the dog, you know, dog with the huge balls in it. That's just disgusting, but it's also hilarious at the same time. But yeah, uh, one of my favorite National Lampoon movies right here, probably my favorite National Lampoon movie next to maybe Vacation, but Van Wilder, always loved watching this movie. Really good one. Hang on a minute, y'all. Oh, this is my cat, Thomas. He's being pestering right now, so I'm going to get him out. Where? Uh, yeah, he's messing with my stuff. I have, like, that's my cat, Thomas. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him. I also, uh, he also has a sister named Veda. I actually named, uh, actually named my two cats after a character, two characters in a movie I'm going to be showing off in my, in my fifth part. And my dog's name is Wendy, so... You know, I might do a video where I actually show off my pets. If anybody wants to see my pets, let me know. But the next comedy, my favorite Jim Carrey movie, Dumb and Dumber. I saw this movie back when I was really young, and I loved it. I think everybody has seen this a lot. This is the unrated version. The unrated version, it doesn't really add anything new or different. It just makes the movie kind of, I guess, grosser in a way. But I grew up watching the, uh, the PG-13 version. It's definitely one of my favorite comedies. Dumb and Dumber, right there. Back when Jim Carrey was in his heyday. Another one of my favorite comedies, Grandma's Boy. Another movie that me and my cousin watch over, over and over again, and we would, uh, you know, quote it all the time. Uh, my cousin's a big gamer. He loves PS2 and PS3. You know, he's been playing uh, Grand Theft Auto V for ever. Ever since it first came out, he pre-ordered it, and he's played it nonstop. So a movie like this is like the best movie for us to watch. Just a comedy about people play video games all the time. You know, really great movie. There's so many awesome, you know, so many awesome scenes in this one. And another movie that we just love to quote over and over again. And the final sort of teen comedy that I'm going to talk about is this movie called Euro Trip. And um, this is actually like sort of the sequel to the movie Road Trip. But I always like this one over the original um, it's really, really a funny one, especially, uh, the scene at the end when the, the, the characters in the movie, they go to a nude beach, you know, because the three main guys, they want to see some naked girls, and it turns out when they go to the nude beach, it's just all guys, so there's actually a scene where they see one of the guys, uh, one of the guy's sisters, and a bunch of naked dudes chase after them, and it's really, really funny, really perverted and stuff, you know, and there's a scene with, uh, um, what's his name? Freaking his name, Matt Damon, and he's a character, and his character is a punk rock, or a guy that uh, le uh, sings for in a punk band, and he ends up having sex with the uh, the main character's girlfriend, and he writes this song called "Scotty Doesn't Know," and it's really perverted and everything. You know, Scotty doesn't know that Fiona and me do it in my van every Sunday. Yeah, it's just it's just a really really horrible. It's like so such a funny song, and the main character of the movie is just sitting there, and he's just like, really. I mean, that's gotta suck. You know, your girlfriend cheat on you, and then, you know, his her new boyfriend makes a song about it. I mean, that's that's gotta be that's gotta be brutal. 
But um, I think those are all the movies I'm going to be talking about in this video. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about nothing but probably my top 15, maybe my maybe 15, my top 15 favorite movies of all time. And like I said, all the videos, all the movies I've been showing off in my last couple of videos are in no particular order. In my next video, they will be in the exact order in which I love them. And it will go from my 15th favorite to my number one favorite movie. So stay tuned for part 5. I'm not going to upload that until maybe Monday or Sunday. Because I actually want to take a break and do a, another video. Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm going to be doing a sort of a special review for that one. Um, you know, you guys can guess. It's a horror movie based on Valentine's Day. So I'm sure everybody knows uh, what movie I'm talking about, but I'll be doing that. It's going to be my next horror uh, classic horror review, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, um, if you guys have seen any of these video movies, definitely let me know what uh, you guys think of them. Thanks for watching part four. Part five will be up hopefully Sunday. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.